Hey there, viewers. Have you ever heard of castor oil? It's popular in several cultures. This is all thanks to its amazing benefits on your health. You can use castor oil on your face, hair, and skin. Some even suggest using it before bed. But does it really have the effects people rave about? In today's video, we'll discuss exactly this. Is it true it works as a laxative? Can castor oil moisturize you? Wait, can it really be used to store and clean your dentures? We'll be talking about all of these and more. Let's start off with a fun little fact. Having trouble in the bathroom? We all do from time to time. Well, have no fear. Castor oil is a natural laxative. That's right, if you're experiencing constipation and you're having trouble with your bowel movements, castor oil can relieve you in a big way. There are lots of people who back this up. In fact, it's even been approved by professionals to be used as a stimulative laxative. A stimulative laxative essentially raises the movement of muscles responsible for pushing through your intestines. This helps clear your bowels. These kinds of laxatives are used by those who need to relieve temporary constipation or people who need to empty their bowels before a medical procedure. Castor oil is taken orally. When you take castor oil, it's broken down in your body and releases ricinoleic acid into your small intestine. This acid gets absorbed by your intestine, which causes a laxative effect. Various studies have proven the laxative effects of castor oil. In one study among older adults, it was seen that consuming castor oil helped reduce the symptoms of constipation. It also helps ensure your bowel movements weren't strained. In another study, it was seen that castor oil also helped clear out the bowels of subjects before they underwent medical procedures, such as colonoscopies. But before you jump at a bottle of castor oil lying around in your pantry, there is something you should know. Castor oil is good for your bowel movements but only if you take it in small quantities. That's really important. If you take too much, you may end up with nausea, diarrhea, and cramping. Also, if you have any long-term health issues, you shouldn't take castor oil as one of your treatment methods. If it's not castor oil, what should you take to help with your bowel movements? Well, you can count on yogurt and kefir. They contain microorganisms called probiotics. These good bacteria are gut-friendly and help soften your stool. You can also try eating pulses and clear soup. They're nutritious as well as easy to digest and add moisture to hard, dense stools. Pulses contain nutrients that are great at easing constipation. Wondering what they are? Well, they're potassium, folate, zinc, and vitamin B6. Are you fed up with dry skin? No matter how many creams and lotions you slather on, your skin still ends up dry after a few hours. It's just the worst feeling, especially when you want to go out in public. You feel like people are looking at you. In that case, castor oil is your best friend. It can work as a natural moisturizer. The ricinoleic acid in castor oil is a type of monosaturated fatty acid, which is helpful for moisturizing your skin. They make sure there's no water loss from your outer skin layer. When you look at the ingredients in cosmetic products used for moisturizing, you'll find castor oil in all of them. But you don't really need to use store-bought products if you want to moisturize. Instead, you can just apply castor oil directly. This way, you can avoid any other harmful ingredients present in these products, which could end up causing irritation to your skin and do more harm than good. Along with reducing your exposure to these harmful ingredients, you'd also be saving a lot of money as castor oil is a lot cheaper. You can also use this oil on your face, along with the rest of your body to keep your skin moisturized. There's a tendency to mix castor oil with other oils that are friendlier for your skin, such as coconut and almond oil. This is because castor oil is thick, and mixing it with other oils could likely create an ultra-hydrating moisturizer. But before you jump on the castor oil bandwagon, remember to do a patch test first. Castor oil can cause allergic reactions in some people. It's best to first test it on a small part of your skin. It could be something as simple as the back of your hand. Castor oil is terrific for the skin. So terrific, you'll be surprised to hear about the next benefit. Castor oil can help heal your wounds. That's right, if you apply it properly, castor oil can help you here. 
Before you get your hopes up, no, castor oil can't get rid of your massive injuries. I mean, we're not miracle workers here. If you're suffering from something super serious, you're going to want to go see a doctor ASAP. But if you have something small and manageable, castor oil will help say goodbye to it. When you put castor oil onto the wound, you're creating an environment around it that's moist and make sure the sores won't dry up. Vinilex is one of the popular ointments used for wounds. It's usually recommended by doctors. This particular ointment has a combination of castor oil as well as another balm called Peru Balsam. It's also used as a dressing for burns, skin ulcers, and surgical wounds. The ricinoleic acid helps with inflammation and also reduces your pain. There have been many studies that show how castor oil is effective with wound treatment. In one study, it was seen that a spray containing balsam of Peru, castor oil, and the enzyme trypsin healed a surgical wound in the abdomen of an 81-year-old who couldn't handle any other treatment. However, you should remember the ointments with castor oil also have other ingredients as well. So before you apply the ointments just because they have castor oil, you should check with your doctor to see if it's safe to apply to the specific wound you want to heal. Castor oil's therapeutic properties make us question if it has other related benefits. Well, it does, and you'll be shocked to know this one for sure. Remember your grandparents always struggling to keep their dentures clean and healthy? Turns out castor oil can be a big help in this area. It can help maintain your dentures when they're wearing out. If you have someone in your family using dentures, you probably know the importance of cleaning them properly and storing them in the right place. Bacteria and fungi grow on dentures if they're not stored in a proper fashion. Candida fungi are a specific problem for those that use dentures. The tissues in your mouth will eventually become infected. When there's too much candida fungi growth in your mouth, you might end up with a situation called denture stomatitis. This is an infection that not only causes irritation, but also redness and inflammation. Using castor oil to clean your dentures can significantly reduce the chances of the fungi developing on them. In one study, it was seen that soaking dentures in 10% castor oil solution for 20 minutes helped to reduce fungi and bacteria on them. In another study, 30 older men with stomatitis related to dentures were given mouthwash that had castor oil as one of the ingredients. The results showed a significant improvement in signs related to the condition. This meant less inflammation. Another study has shown that when you brush and soak the dentures in a solution that has castor oil, there's a significant reduction in candida fungi-related infections among older people who use dentures. Do you find it difficult to sleep at night? Much like constipation, we all have trouble with this sometimes. Turns out, castor oil can also help people suffering from insomnia. This is a common sleep disorder that affects a number of people. People with insomnia are unable to fall asleep easily. When they finally do fall asleep, it's hard for them to stay that way. Once they wake up, it's really hard for them to go back to sleep. This leaves them exhausted and sluggish throughout the next day. Anyone who's experienced this knows that it can affect your performance at work and get in the way of productivity. This has a domino effect on your entire life. This leads to people taking medication to deal with their poor sleeping habits. The problem here is that it's easy for people to overuse their prescriptions, which can lead to abuse and addiction. For some, if the meds don't work, it feels almost hopeless. Well, castor oil can be a good alternative. If you're having issues with your sleep, you can use some of it in small amounts. It's pretty simple. Just rub some castor oil on top of your eyelids before you go to bed. This will help you relax and fall asleep much easier. Castor oil is great at putting you to bed. But I get it, some of you aren't into the idea of putting strange oil on your eyelids and leaving it there. If that's the case, you can try aromatherapy. Essential oils can relax you and put you in a healthier place. This makes sleep that much easier. Or you can use castor oil as a carrier oil and mix whatever essential oil you have with it. Massage it on your temples. You'll feel relaxed and ready to go to sleep. Peppermint, lavender, and damask rose are great essential oil fragrances to go with your castor oil. It's good to know about the impact certain foods and substances have on your body. 
There are so many others that you should know about. A couple more related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out what eating garlic every day does to your body. Or how about what happens to your body when you go to sleep? Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn more about how your body works. Do you use castor oil regularly? Are you considering trying it after watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.